Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said your child is out of control. They are disrespectful to you. Your child is being disrespectful to you because you won't let your child see their father. You won't let them see their mother. And you wonder why your child act a certain way because you not even being a parent to your own child. You trying to be their friend. You trying to keep up with the teenagers and you already in your forties. You already in your thirties, but you trying to keep up with everybody. Your child disrespecting you because you don't even respect your own self. The bad verse I want to read to you is Ephesians six and one. And it reads, children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Let me tell you this. Your child will start respecting you when you start to do your part as a parent. A lot of you as a parent, you need to do better. Now listen, ain't no perfect parent out here. All I'm saying is you got to stop trying to act like you a teenager. Stop trying to act like you your child friend. You are not your child friend. You are their parent. It's either they going to listen or they not. It's either they going to do what you say or they not. When they become being disrespectful, you can put your child out. You already told them. They, they don't want to listen to you. They don't want to follow your rules. They don't want to do anything that you're saying to do. Listen, God told us, train up your child in the way that they should go. If your child being disrespectful is your child doing all this stuff towards you, guess what? Nine times out of ten, you need to move up a little notch and let them know, I'm not playing with you. Is it you want to listen to my rules or you want to get out? These children today, they need to obey their parents. They being slick, having sex, doing things they shouldn't be doing. You don't know nothing until you take your child to the doctor. They telling you, mommy, I'm a virgin. I ain't doing nothing. You take your children to the doctor, you find out they doing it with everybody in the school. Because even their friend coming home telling you, you can't even trust your own child. Because the, guess what? Your child doing everything that you doing. You supposed to be a living example for your child. You supposed to be a role model. I don't care if that child burn is not in their life. Let me tell you this. Nine times out of ten, it's either the father dead or the mother not. Or the Dad is dead and the mother not. You got to do what you got to do as a parent. You don't have to sit there and wait till that parent, the other parent, get their life together. You got to take care of your child. I'm not saying sit there and be vulnerable. I'm saying sit and allow God to help you with your child. Read the Bible. Say, Lord, what you, how to teach my child? Show me what I need to do. God will give you instructions. I'm going to tell you, me... When I was having dif difficulty times, you know, with my son, Andrew, I would pray. I would give it to God. And I say, God, you tell me how to deal with him. And I'm telling you, my son is teaching me patience. I Let me tell you, growing up, I always rush to get things done. If I didn't get my work done, I cried. And guess what? God was always telling me. So when I had a son... Name Andrew. Andrew, teach me patience. Mommy, it's okay. Take your time. Sometimes we love to rush and do things, but God is saying, take your time in life. All I'm saying is, love your children. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Realize that you are not your child friend. You are your child parent. You can hug them. You can kiss them. You can let them know the truth. Tell your child the truth. They deserve the truth. Let me tell you, it's going to hurt them in the beginning that their father or their mother not in their life. But they deserve the truth. Don't be hiding secrets from your child. And stop lying to them. If that man is not their father, tell them the truth. Say, this is the new man that I'm dating. And I just want you to know that this, you know, this is the new person I'm talking to. And tell them the truth that their father or their mother not in their life. They have the right to know the truth. They already 15. You need to go ahead and tell them the truth. So God bless you. Thank you for watching. Do not give up. Continue to pray. 
So whatever you're going through, just give it to God. Just start being honest with your child. If they 15, 16 years old, they need to know the truth about their parent. These kids walking around with attitudes because they don't know who their father is and they don't know who their parent is. They walking around calling people mommy and daddy and their parents, some of them, dead and gone or some of them in jail. So tell your kids the truth. It doesn't matter how it come out. Your child deserves the truth. You got to realize you're not your child friend. Your child need to know the truth, who their real father is or who their real mother is. Please tell your child the truth and stop lying before, you know, other things start coming about. So God bless you. I love you. Have a great, beautiful day. Keep your head up. Be strong. Keep going. And just be the best that you can be. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Thank you.